Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to give you a breakdown of Pendle Finance. Now, if you're not familiar with Pendle, uh, Pendle essentially allows you to tokenize the future yield of an asset that you hold today. What that means is if, say, you hold a bunch of USDC, you could use Pendle to now tokenize and receive the future yield that that token is expected to receive in various lending markets. Now, I know this may seem confusing at first. Um, I can assure you it was for me too at the start, uh, but I think I have a good enough understanding now that I'll be able to explain it to you all in a way that's pretty easy to consume and just makes sense. Now there are quite a few opportunities on Pendle to really generate a substantial yield, so I would encourage you to stick through the video um, to see if there's any strategy that you'd like to incorporate with your portfolio. Now getting right back into Pendle, um, again, Pendle liberates that future yield that you have on your investment, and you can see that here on the main page. Now quite simply what this means is, if you deposit 100 USDC into Pendle, you now get 100 ownership tokens, which represent the actual USDC, and you get 100 interest tokens, or yield tokens. Now I will also include a link to this CoinGecko article about tokenizing future yield. Um, in the article it basically just describes how four different projects go about solving this problem. So right now Pendle and Alchemix are really the only two projects that are on mainnet that do this, but you can read about two others, Element and AP1, um, that will allow you to do this in the future as well. Definitely subscribe because I'm probably going to be covering those other two projects when they're out on mainnet. Now with that said, I'm basically going to walk you through the Pendle app because I think that's the easiest way to actually understand how this process works. Um, so we're now on the main market page and you can see here that currently there's a USDC market and a DAI market. Now Pendle has said they do plan to launch other markets so I'm excited to see what they come up with and I think a lot of us would be looking forward to an ETH market and a WBTC market. That said let's just walk through this process. Um, so what would it take to actually tokenize your future yield? So the first step is we'd go over to the mint tab here and so right off the bat we have a lot of information. Um, for the purposes of this video I'm going to be sticking to just the US USDC market. Uh, the same will apply to the DAI market, but I think it's just best to stick to one token now just for simplicity. So first thing to note here, you can see the current pair, which is USDC, which is the one we want. And you can see that this is using Aave V2 uh, to lend out a USDC, and that's how we generate that yield. You can see they also have different expiries. And so what this would mean is when is that ownership token going to be transferable back into USDC? Because remember, today we're going to split the ownership token and the yield token. Uh, combine those would equal one USDC, but separately you have to wait for the ownership token to accrue in value to the expiry. Now, Pendle is fairly new, so they only have one expiry here of December 28th, 2022, which is, as you can see, in 553 days. Now, first things first here, to interact with Pendle, basically we would have to acquire a USDC, which is just Aave USDC, and this represents tokens that are being lended on the Aave market. It's important to note that AUSD basically trades at one-to-one -one with the US dollar or USDC. So for the purposes of this video, we're just going to be working with a number of 1,000. So we're going to put in 1,000 USDC, and you can see that will give us 1,000 of the yield token for AUSDC and 1,000 of the ownership token for AUSDC. Now, a really important thing to remember here is that ownership token, you can redeem that only when this has expired. So in about 553 days, your ownership token, those 1,000 ownership tokens that we're going to receive will be worth 1,000 USDC or Aave USDC. What that means is these 1,000 yield tokens that we're receiving, we can sell those off to USDC today and basically do anything we want with them from now on. So to show you that, I'm just going to go over to the swap tab, and you can see I can type in I want to sell 1,000 of the USDC yield tokens, and that would give me about 175 USDC. Now because we're getting 175 or so USDC for that yield token, uh, what that means is we have applied annual yield rate on USDC of about 14.15% as you can see there. What's really interesting here is that the yield you get on Aave is only 1.51%. Um, so I think the yield on Pendle is probably this much higher just because there's less liquidity and there's also incentives to do things with those yield tokens. So right now it's trading at a pretty high premium. Now this would be very advantageous for us because say we're comfortable locking our USDC up for 500 or so days. Uh, we now can get a much higher yield on those interest tokens than we would if we just left our USDC in Aave. Now I want to show you how you can actually take advantage of the increased yield that Pendle is offering. So here we're on the Pendle docs and you can see they give an example of three different user groups and how they can profit um, through Pendle. 
So the first is simple sellers, and that would be what I was just talking about before. So we lock up our 1,000 USDC, we're okay waiting about 550 or so days, and we sell the current yield, which is about 14%, and we have all of that USDC to use today. Very simple example, very straightforward, and a great way to lock in a very high APY on USDC, which uh, you really can't find elsewhere as far as I know. Now, the second strategy that Pendle lists out is if you really want to get long exposure on the interest rates on Aave. Now, if you think interest rates are currently very low and will increase, you could just buy the yield bearing token and hold that until you think the yields on Aave are fair market value. Now, because the yield on Pendle is so high right now relative to Aave, that probably doesn't make sense. But if we see the yield on Pendle be uh, about what's on Aave and it stays compressed or very low, um, this would make sense as an appropriate strategy. Now, the last example is basically about how you can arbitrage across different platforms when there's varying interest rates. And again, I'll link the Gitbook below so you can read all about that yourself. Now, I think these three strategies are just kind of good inspiration in how to think about how you could incorporate Pendle into your portfolio. I think the most common strategy is just going to be to lock in a certain APY. But again, there's really so many different ways you could take this. So again, all of those links and resources are going to be below. So in addition to that swap feature that I showed you a moment ago, you can also provide liquidity for USDC and those yield tokens. The reason for this is people just simply need to be able to sell their yield tokens off today um, when they want to capture that future yield. So uh, again, we need a market for liquidity. Now to help incentivize liquidity in this pool, you can see there's really a quite high APR of 300%, and that's on USDC and that yield token AUSDC. Now again, that yield token will decrease in value as we get closer to the maturity date because there's just less time to generate a yield. Um, so Pendle actually created their own AMM system to try to minimize time decay and permanent loss. I will include the link to the docs uh, that explain the math behind the AMM. Um, so definitely check that out if you're going to provide liquidity because you wanna calculate various different scenarios. I think that's a bit beyond the scope of this video, but I'm sure there are going to be a lot of folks uh, strategizing in the Discord, which I'm going to link below um, if anyone's interested in joining the community there. Just at a very high level, uh, you can see here that Pendle's curve shifting algorithm closely resembles the concept of options pricing models. And this is because the price of an option decays with time, which is similar to the yield tokens. I should mention I get a lot of questions about this. Um, it seems pretty straightforward, but if you do decide to provide liquidity, uh, make sure you just go over to the stake tab here to stake that liquidity and get Pendle tokens as a reward. Now, lastly, I'm gonna go over to the Redeem tab, um, and this is basically how you would convert your uh, ownership tokens and your yield tokens back into AUSDC. So if you choose to do this before expiry, which again, we're 550 days away from uh, the first uh, market's expiry, you would actually have to provide an equal number of ownership tokens and yield tokens. So in our example, we put in 1,000 USDC and we got 1,000 of each token back. Uh, so you can see here, if I type in 1,000, it's going to basically tell me I need 1,000 of each token to get USDC back. Now again, if we're at expiry, those ownership tokens have matured to the full value of one AUSDC, so you don't actually need your yield token then. This would be because, uh, let's say today you entered this market, you minted a thousand ownership tokens and you sold off your yield tokens. Well, if we're okay with waiting 550 or so days, uh, we can sell off those ownership tokens back to the full value of our principal investment. And that's how we capture the future yield today. So the last thing I did wanna mention is there is a farming opportunity here if you choose to do so with the Pendle token. Now you can see here they have single staking for Pendle, so you can earn 35% single staking it. And you can also provide liquidity to the ETH Pendle pair and get an APR of currently 160%. So in the future, Pendle will be used for governance over the platform and will be the main value accrual mechanism. So all of the value of the platform should accrue to that Pendle token. This might be a good investment or opportunity if you're bullish on the Pendle token overall. Now to help value that token, I'd recommend looking at various comparable projects. So definitely look at the AP Wine tokens value, look at the Alchemex tokens value, and then when Element Finance releases their token, you can look at that one as well. They've also released the full vesting schedule in their docs, um, so I'll link that below if you want to check that out as well. So that's all I have for you today. Um, as you can see, Pendle's a very innovative project, and there's really a great way to earn a higher yield than you normally would be able to on USDC alone. So I think this is going to become a very popular project. Um, of course, it is a bit more confusing than Alchemex or other projects in this space, but I think once you get a good understanding, you can see just how powerful and customizable um, this app really is. 
So I would encourage you all to check it out. Um, again, please like the video and subscribe. Both of those really help me out and then click the bell if you wanna be notified. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.